Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitex Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial using Boilerplate. This is our part number 24. Inside this video session guys, we will see that how can we process our first Ajax request in plugin development. Now if I back to our editor, now go inside this includes folder and the main file that we had discussed inside previous videos. If I click on that file, scroll down and this is all about define admin hooks. So here we need to use a hook for that something wp underscore ajax if we want to complete about ajax request so we have a action hook. So we need to define inside this file we have to call a method inside our main file of this admin and we can actually complete and process our Ajax request successfully inside plugin development. So the first step that is go inside this method called define underscore admin underscore hooks and here we need to define a action hook. So let's say that action hook for Ajax request. So this will be this loader let's say add action and inside this this will be wp underscore ajax so for now i'm to put a placeholder in the next if i copy the same code and pasting it here now here we need to provide a method which handles about our all ajax request in case of admin panel so let's say handle ajax requests underscore simply let's say admin remember we have written a placeholder it means we have not completed the syntax for this defining about action hook if i copy this method name go to our admin file and inside this admin file i'm to define a method so let's say public function this is our method name and this method handles all ajax request of admin now if we go here now simply back to browser click on book management tool and it's because we have some error and error is that because we have not completed about all the syntax for wp ajax so let's make comment of this line reload this page now here if we go to the create book self inside this create book self i'm to make a simple button and let's see that inside this video after clicking on that button how can we make a process means ajax process inside server and tag response from that if we back to slide or let's say editor go to our create book self html page and let's say that inside this header i'm to define a button so let's say button let's say first ajax request and inside this button i'm to specify some class here so btn btn info and also we want that the button should be right placed so if i save all these changes back here reload this page and here is the button so we want something a style let's say margin top equal to minus 7 pixel go here reload this page now this is our button now we want that now let's create an ID for this button. So here let's say ID attribute. So BTN simply let's say first Ajax. Now if I copy this ID of this button back to our JavaScript file and this is the file we have made inside this JS folder. Go here. Processing event on let's say button click. Here we are going to define about our event listener. So this is all about jQuery. 
this is all about the ID of that button. Let's say that on click or simply if I call this button with the help of document object. So let's say document click event. This is our button and finally we are going to attach a callback function. So here we need our Ajax URL to complete our Ajax request. Remember, inside our previous videos, we have made a Ajax request. If I back to again to this admin file, go up and at the time of enqueuing script, at the time of enqueuing script that is enqueue script, inside this, we have made WP localized script and this is all about Ajax URL. So we want this path to make Ajax request. So remember, before making any Ajax request inside your custom plugin, we need to define about WP localized script. Inside this, this, these are the parameters not needed. But this parameter will be helpful or it will be required if we want to complete our Ajax request. So if I copy this key back to browser, pressing Ctrl U, and search here so this is the key called ajax url this is not actually this is the variable automatically loaded by our wordpress setup now if i pressing enter this is our second variable so if we want to call this ajax url we need to type owt underscore book dot ajax url it's an object and this is a property back to editor go inside our javascript file and let's say that before we have to make our post data it means what are the data we are going to post to our server so let's say post data equal to simply right now we have no data i am to post to action so let's say action simple let's say simple or let's say admin underscore ajax request i'm to concatenate and writing a param here so this will be sim first simple ajax so simply we have two variables called action and param here we are concatenating these parameters with the help of ampersand now here this is the value of action and this is the value of this param key now let's say that jquery dot post we are going to use post method of jquery to complete our ajax request in the first parameter we need to pass our url so if i go here let's owt book so simply let's say where ajax url equal to owt book dot ajax url now if i copy this url pasting it here in the second parameter we need to pass the post data so these are the data means these are the data actually we are going to send to our server let's say next we have a callback function and inside this callback function basically we will get about the response from the server now simply if I make console.log, let's say response here. Now we have successfully handled about the event listener of this click event of this button. Now only we need to catch this request to from our server. So this is our action. If I back to admin file, remember not actually inside this admin file, go inside this includes file means main file of include. Now if I uncomment of this line, remember this is the placeholder actually we have put. Now here we need to provide the action name. The action name we have defined here. So it means that inside admin panel of this plugin means admin request, we have to make a common action name. We can make different different action names. 
but for all the requests from a source, let's say that all the requests from admin panel, we are going to make a common action. So this is the required parameter we need to pass with each Ajax request. If I copy, go here and pasting it here. So WP underscore Ajax underscore action name. If I back to admin file, now we are ready to handle our request. So back to the method and let's say that param equal to is set. Let's request and the variable we are getting inside this param key. Copy, pasting it here. Now let's say if not empty param inside this let's say f param equal to and we have passed the value something first simple ajax copy pasting it here now inside this block we have to write our code what we want to send as a response to the client and at last of this method simply we need to use called wp die here this is a wordpress function so let's say that echo json in code and we are going to send some sample data to our client. So let's say status equal to 1. Let's say message equal to let's say first a checks request and inside this data key simply let's say we are going to define another array. So let's say name Let's author. So these are the values actually we are going to pass inside this Ajax request. So if we save all these changes of these files back to browser, reload this page, and I think that we again have some error. Again back to editor, back to the file where we are attaching our Ajax request, and here is the includes main file. And if you go, so here we have two commas, so get rid of that. Save this file, reload this page. Now again we have error back again. And this time if you find about the mistake, and this is all about semicolon missing here. So we have two silly mistakes. Save all these changes, reload this page. Now we have all perfect. So if I inspect here, go to console. So right now, there is nothing inside this console. Now we are ready to click on this button. Remember, when we click on this button, it will trigger this event what we have defined here. It will pass this all post data to this Ajax URL. This Ajax URL catches all these things. It will search about this action name, means WordPress action hook about WP Ajax inside whole WordPress setup. And remember, this is the WP Ajax we are catching inside this plugin. So after finding the, this action, it will go inside this method with the help of this object, writing it here, and it will give all this response what we have written here. So if we save all these changes, back here, click on this first Ajax request, go to network, and as we can see here, that is admin ajax.php, it means we have made our request. And I think that this is not our request. Again, pressing Ctrl F5 means hard refresh. Go to console, click on this button, and this is our output. Inside network section, this is our admin ajax. Inside this, as we can check inside these headers, that is, we are going to take our Ajax request with this path. Scroll down and these are the parameters called action and the param we are passing inside our request. This is our action name and perm here. Go to preview and these are the values actually we are passing from the server to the client. And inside our client side code, 
simply inside JavaScript we have written called console.log and we are consoling all the response what we are getting from the server and inside this console we can find all the data so this is all about guys that is how can we complete about or make our Ajax request inside plugin development instead of this simple way we have many more methods or many more approaches to make our Ajax request but this is one of the simplest way to achieve this inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment I will give my plan as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day